Obviously, the Dolphins are, you know, past few weeks haven't gone so well. They lost to the Patriots last week. That's what this video is going to be about. They, you know, been losing a decent amount as of late. They're coming off five consecutive losses. The last team they beat was the Houston Texans in November. But at the same time, if they beat the Jets, there's a very good chance they make the playoffs. So let's talk about last week against the Patriots and what that can tell us for potentially next week and why that, you know, why I think there's still a good chance the Dolphins do make it into the postseason. I am predicting, actually, that I think that they will uh, win their next game, and I think that they will probably get in, but that's my prediction. I could see it going several different ways, but anyways, let's just talk about the game last week, kind of the the issues that happened and also the good things that happened and why there still is hope, and I don't think this team is completely figured out just yet. So for one thing, something like this, where it's going to be a single safety deep coverage, it's a man coverage, and you have Tyreek Hill running a deep route. Okay, great opportunity. You definitely want to try to hit Tyreek Hill here. Right when this play begins, what you're going to notice is that it's not exactly getting wide open right yet. I mean, you don't know if this is going to be open or not, but it's Tyreek Hill one-on-one -on -one with a single safety deep. Yes, the safety is starting to cheat over there, but still, uh, you can make this throw. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You make this throw. That's what Bridgewater is going to do. Teddy does make this throw, and it's actually going to be caught, but just out of bounds. And that's one that usually, you know, it was ruled, I believe it was ruled a completion on the field but uh, at first, but then was ruled incomplete. And for... Hill, you know, usually he's able to come up with that and get the big completion there. I think the reality is, even if it's Skylar Thompson who's making the throw, I expect him to be able to at least hit a couple of those, and that might be all they need against the Jets. Now, again, could be Sauce Gardner going up against. That's no easy task, but it's Tyreek Hill. He can beat everybody, so you just hope that that can happen. And, you know, Bridgewater did do some nice things when he was in the game as well, something like this, where it's going to be a, a zone coverage play. Again, you see the route on the screen that can work, right, as it's underneath the corner's zone, so that's kind of an area where definitely you can make a throw. This is, once again, Tyreek Hill, and, you know, again, you really do have to feel like the Dolphins are going to make the playoffs. It's probably going to be through the strength of Tyreek Hill. Watch how when Bridgewater runs the play action and looks down the field, you see how this could potentially work. It's a bit difficult because there is kind of a, you know, a tough angle as Bridgewater is currently above the hash marks towards the top of the screen. The throw is going all the way towards the bottom of the screen. So really what's going to have to happen here is Tyreek Hill is going to have to make sure he gets himself very open. However, as you see, that's exactly what happens. He does get wide open. This time is able to get both his feet in bounds and you're able to pick up a completion there. So, you know, trying to get the ball down the field, this could be a big way you're able to do it. Uh, again, it hasn't fully worked out that way, especially with Skylar Thompson out there. Uh, as of recording this video, it has not been announced who will be the starter, but my guess is that it could be Thompson. And so let's go over here and let's talk about Skylar Thompson and how he performed in this game when he was, uh, you know, there. And, you know, uh, it wasn't terrible, I didn't think. It wasn't great either. But, you know, one thing that happened was this play where what's going to happen here is it is a, again, a play that should work. This is getting Tyreek Hill open. It's very similar to that last play I just showed you. Watch how when it begins, you see just how open this is. This should be super easy to get some yards. And again, Getting the ball in Tyree Kill's hands, pretty much always a good situation. But as you see, Thompson, I mean, this is really a, I would say a good throw, but it just happens to get batted up and intercepted. That's just a, a tough break and a rare mistake from Tyreek Hill is what I would say. I'm not going to panic too much about this one uh, if I'm a Dolphins fan. And again, you cut those out, maybe it was a different game against New England, perhaps. Like the other interception, this was a Bridgewater interception as both quarterbacks there, actually, weirdly, both quarterbacks had uh, one touchdown and one interception on their, uh, their, their resume. But the way this play works is, again, kind of a simple concept, zone coverage, have a receiver just trying to get into a gap in coverage in between two players' zones, then Bridgewater can throw it in between them and hopefully just pick up some yards. Look at how, when this play begins, you're going to see that, again, there's a window, but not a huge window. This is probably one that Bridgewater should not be making. I can understand why he would want to, just given the situation. It's a third down to have to get to the 39-yard line, so I can certainly understand the appeal and why he wants to make this throw, but too far down the field, I think it just there's too much time for New England to react to a ball thrown in that area. Watch as you see that, you know, that's going to be intercepted, and th this could be a big way that they could lose this game is if they throw those interceptions. If you throw pick sixes and you, you give the other team 
the ball. You know, this was a big way that the Patriots were able to win this game. Uh, it's because of this exact play. So you can't do that against the Jets. The reality is that, you know, the concern with the Dolphins is going to be, will they have bottom-tier quarterback play in that final game? The Jets have had bottom-tier quarterback play their, the entire season. So the reality is, you feel okay in that scenario, but you just can't make these types of mistakes. The other thing you hope doesn't happen too often would be on, you know, what will happen on this play where you see the concept on the screen. It's a concept that can work. Get several players going to the offense's left. You're going to have, this is going to be Skylar Thompson rolling out towards his left as well. Watch how Thompson runs the play action, then rolls out towards his left. And you see right here, the two routes that are further down the field that ideally you would have liked to throw to are not open here. So Thompson going to do the right thing, throw more underneath on this play. But as you see, when he does that, this ends up just you know falling incomplete. So also not great there. And you know, you don't want to see that. You don't want to see guys getting covered and it's the Jets. So there's a good chance that could happen. The reality is, do I think that the Dolph, you know, uh, that's kind of what went wrong in this game. Now I want to talk about what, you know, what do we expect against the Jets? And I do think there will be situations like this, right? There will be situations where the Jets are covering very well. That is, of course, fine. That's going to happen. What you have to do is not let those issues become bigger issues. I think as long as the Dolphins don't lose the turnover battle, I think that they will win the game. And again, you got New England playing Buffalo. It's never good when you need multiple things to go your way when you need help. But at the end of the day, at least New England's playing a really good football team and you have that opportunity where it's not, you don't need that much help. Do I trust Skylar Thompson? I mean, no, I don't trust that Skylar Thompson. How could I trust Skylar Thompson? He has shown me nothing to, uh, you know, trust through this point in his career. But at the same time, you know, he is someone who, if he can just step in and run the offense, the hope would be that uh, Tua could be ready come postseason time, and then you could maybe go on a run there. And the reality is, if that happens, I think the Dolphins team could potentially be a dark horse, right? If they do get into the playoffs, we've seen this team at their best play very good football. They've beaten Buffalo, and there was a time when they looked like they were, you know, one of the best teams in football. We, we were talking about them as championship contenders earlier on in this season, but obviously they need their starting quarterback to look that way, and you know, with Skyler Thompson, they don't have that, but I think that this should still be a situation where they could potentially still beat the Jets, and as long as they do that, there's a good chance they get in, so I don't know, very interesting situation, but I certainly don't think they're figured out or anything like that, I think they just need Tua, that's what I think, what do you guys think, let me know in the comments below, always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.